Hi folks, welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. In today's practice, we are going to find out how to create a product page using Metabox and Breezy. Here, I did a car rentals page with Breezy as an example. This page contains the product's detailed information and its gallery. It's a singular page of your product post type. The name and description of the product are the title and content of the post. The remaining detailed information will be saved in the custom fields. I have Breezy in its pro version here to build the page. There's also the meta box to have the framework for creating custom post types and custom fields for your products. You can download it directly from wordpress.org. I will use some Metabox extensions to have advanced features. You can install them individually or use Metabox all in one. Here are the extensions that we will use in this practice. MB Custom Post Types to create a custom post type for the products. MB Views to create a template. Metabox Builder to has a UI on the back end to create custom fields easily. That's all. Let's get started now. Go to Metabox and create a new post type for your products. After publishing, you will see a new menu displayed here. It's your post type. These are the fields that I'll create for example today. They are just some basic fields for typical information. Now, go to Metabox to create them. First, for the numeric information like this one, choose the number field type. Next, I have some fields that allow the user to choose one from the provided list. So create them in the select type. There is a choice box to add option here. For the rest information, we use the text field. The last field is the gallery. Choose an image advanced field to allow the user upload multiple images. After creating all the fields, move to the settings tab. Choose location as post type. And then select car rental to apply these fields to this post type. Now go to the post editor you will see all of the created custom fields. Just fill in the information. Go to Breezy and create a new template for the product page. Set the condition here for it. Choose single for the template type. And then choose your product post type name from the list. Now, edit the template with Breezy. First, add a block. Go to the global blocks section to set the header for the page. Now, add a new block for the page content. I will divide the content into two columns, like this. So we'll have two options here, using the column or the row element. Basically, they are quite the same, but there is a difference on how to edit each inside column size. 
I'd like to use the row. You will see the two columns inside the row here. In the first column, let's add the gallery. Breezy doesn't have any elements which can get multiple images at once from the image advance field from Metabox, that saves the product images. I have a trick, that is using the MV views to create a gallery for the product, then use the shortcode to embed it into this column. Go to views of Metabox to add a new view. First, add a class for the gallery to set the style for them later. Click the insert field button, and choose the name of the field that we've used to save the product images. Now you can add some CSS to apply a style for the gallery. I use this to set its display as a slider. I uploaded all the code in GitHub, you can go there to see it in detail. Now, scroll down and go to the settings section of the view. Set this view in the type of shortcode. Then, a shortcode will be automatically generated right after you publish this view. Just copy it. Back to the template editor with Breezy. Add a shortcode element into the first column. Paste the shortcode generated by the view here. There's nothing happening now. To see the slider, you can go to the page on the front end. It'll be there. Move on to the second column. Add a title element to show the product name. As well as, add the content element to display product description. For this section, I will use the row element for each one here. Inside the row, add a text element on the left, and add some text for the information's name. On the right, also add a text element. The information in this place is the pricing that saves in a custom field. So, click on it, then choose the topography button to customize the text. You will see a small button here for the dynamic data, click on it. There will be a drop-down list with several options. Choose one that you want to get data from. Then the data will display into the element automatically like this. For the next information, use the row element as well. Do likewise as the previous one to get data from custom fields. Since the following ones are the same in the content and style, you can style this first row a little bit. Then duplicate it to save time displaying and style them. Just change the text in the left column, and change the field in the right column. You'll get full of this section in the right form. Also style the pricing a little bit.
We've done displaying all the information about the product. I'll add a new block for the footer. That's done. Let's see the page on the front end. That's the end of today's tutorial. If you want to try more, please watch other tutorials on this channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to us for more tutorials. Bye.